You know when you meet someone and you're like, wow, they are the whole package. They are talented, they are beautiful and sexy, but they're also extremely nice and personable. Yeah, I hadn't either until I met Byri the Siren. And guess what? I actually got to hang out with her. Yeah, today was a good day. It is an oddly gloomy day today in Los Angeles, but I asked Byri to come hang out by the pool anyway. We wanted to have a chill pool day. It didn't quite work out. But the second she showed up, the energy shifted and everything brightened up. I mean, literally, the sun came out and the birds started chirping. Byri, thank you so much for being here thank with me. Thank you so much for having me. Making the trek up to the beautiful Hollywood Hills. One day I want to live here, so <laughs> it's good manifestation. Well, it's been very gloomy. <laughs> yeah. I was expecting today, today to be gloomy, uh -huh. and now we're out here sweating. And, we're, <laughs> yeah. All of us here together, it brought the sun out, is exactly. what I'm going to say. Exactly. I love that. Mm -hmm. um, I got to <laughs> say... You have a lot of energy, a lot of charisma, right? When you got here, you have that energy. And I wasn't expecting that. And I don't mean that in a bad no, way. No, okay. You, like, on social media, give off this, like, sultry, uh -huh. like, kind of dark feminine yeah. energy. I wasn't expecting all this, like, bubbly energy. I love I, it. I, I honestly, every time that I go into an interview, I'm like, people are probably going to be really confused when they talk to me because it is, like, this duality that I have going on. But I just think it's a matter of, I think that I like to put the darkness in the music and in yeah. the branding so that I can be this person for people in real life. I love that. I yeah. love to hear it. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. You are fresh off of your project. Yes. Fire Siren. Yes. You also call yourself Byrie the Siren. Byrie the Siren. Tell me about it. I love that. You also hint some Greek mythology things yeah. on your social media. Tell me about it. I want to know all about it. Oh, are you talking about, I, I was just like in a, in, a, in a music video and I think I did like yes. a Helen of Troy thing. Yes. Um, so it's so funny because the siren thing didn't even, it obviously it has its um, obvious points to Greek mythology. But the whole reason that I did the siren was because it was represented in like video games I used to play when I was a kid. So um, they they I play Final Fantasy and Byrie itself is from this game called King Kingdom Hearts. Um, wow. Yeah, the main character, her name is Kyrie, and we're not going to talk about it because everybody talks shit about her. <laughs> but um, I, I heard you for that. <laughs> yeah, but um, but when I was Brie Marie before this, and I just felt called to like change my name in 2018, 2019, and it just kind of came to me. I don't want to sound cliche, but it did, and then all of the links kind of came together. At the time, Byrie was taken on social media. Oh, and wow. at that time, that's when Megan the Stallion was really popping. Like, I really loved Megan at that time. So that's how kind of everything put together. I love that. Yeah. Wow, what a story. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know if that answered your question. It but. did. It gave me all kinds of background. Cool. I, cool. you know, you're kind of a gamer girl. Yes. Wow, who knew that? Yes, who I, I should be streaming more often. I <laughs> yes. think it's going to be my next little avenue of, like, stuff to do. Byrie the streamer. Byrie like the it. streamer. <laughs> See, look at you. I'm going to do that. <laughs> so I was first introduced to you through your track, Drown, mm -hmm. and I loved it. I saw it on social Thank media, you. and I just loved the energy you brought to it. It's so powerful and fierce, mm -hmm. yet you're also very delicate and mm -hmm. soft, kind of that juxtaposition yeah. of that. I have to ask about this song in particular. Mm -hmm. Who broke your heart? <laughs> oh, my God. The the whole album is really the representation of... I don't want to call it my hoe phase. I would just say it's a really dark period in which I was, like, coping with distractions and men. Not even just men, but just life. Like, trying to make money when I should have just been making more music. Trying to, you know, get attention from men versus, you know, getting attention on social media or for my craft. Right. Uh I think it was a culmination of multiple people, honestly. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's all of them. Why you wanna keep on playing these games? I told you I was grown, no time for fuck shit. Took me out of my song, created a home. Now I'm alone, I can't function. Let you think you'll remain, don't you? You ain't do shit, but be a piece of shit And I constantly choose you Silly nigga, get that act right Still make a laugh Come around and tell this, let the laugh Do you think I'm stupid? Do you think that I forget? You know, well, it's great. I put all of my anger towards men in that one, in that one song 
I love that. And let's go back to that kind of like dark feminine mm-hmm. energy because I feel like that song definitely yes. encompasses for sure. that. For sure. That's like how, a low point. Yeah. How do you do that? How do you exude that energy? Like teach me your ways. You go through shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just... I just came to the clarity recently that like I'm a type of person that I need to write when I'm in those moments yeah. when I'm like feeling the rage feeling the darkness or even just love anything I need to really capitalize on those moments for myself I and not wait for clarity to really talk about it um I'm pretty sure I wrote <laughs> some words <laughs> like, are you gonna talk about it too um <laughs> I wrote drown I'm pretty sure after I had driven an hour and a half just like crying the entire time and um I there's there's songs like drown and karma for example like those are moments when I feel like I just blacked out because I was so like deep in the emotion and I think it's just a matter of not being afraid to express yourself in those moments I think that something I dealt with a lot was which is why it took so long for this album to come out Um, I was really scared of hurting people with my anger and the darkness in the music, but it's my truth for a reason. So, yeah, I love that. That's amazing. I love that you're bringing this authenticity and Mm -hmm. truth. It's your truth. Unfortunately, it's like like Drake said, the honesty in my music has left me too exposed. I love it. Yeah, it's my job. So how long have you been doing this, like pursuing music, singing? Is this been a lifelong thing did been, like, you just singing since I was like a baby <laughs> but like no really like I I have been singing since probably before I was talking and I didn't really I didn't believe in myself or even think that it was a possibility until 2016 is when I actually started my career and I only really started to get good in 2020 um during the pandemic when I did had nothing else to do but like be in the studio every day so um it's been a lifelong thing and I think it's my journey has more so been about trusting and believing in myself so but I've been singing forever in choirs I was in the sound of music in second grade so I've been in like a theater kid too my first um college I my first like what is what is not degree um My first specialty in college was like theater performance and I just didn't continue with it. But yeah. Well, we can definitely see that come through with your art. Yeah, obviously, because I'm very confusing. Just dark and the music and then here otherwise. At what point did you think, when do you think you found that like trust or like trusting yourself that, yeah, I'm going to pursue this? I think, and I hate to say this, but it was just affirmations from other people. I, I went... I went to college in New York and that's when, when I realized like, oh, everybody's an artist here. Like I, I'm from Pennsylvania. So I tried to be practical yeah. until I moved to New York and I was like, oh, everybody's doing this shit. Like I and somebody heard one song that I did in a random studio one day and they're like, oh, like you need to do this for real. And even to this day, that was how long ago? That was like seven, eight years ago. I'm wow. still I'm still finding more more and more confidence in myself but I mean it's working out so I just keep going with it (laughs) that's amazing yeah well what can we expect from you what's next what's on the horizon what do you have planned that you can share (sighs) um well I would like to really take my time and marinate in this project and do visuals and stuff I'm working on some treatments right now uh I do have two or three projects that I'm working on uh, going forward. One collab tape that I want to do after this. It has like six of my friends on it. Wow, that's um, fun. Yeah. No one to speak about it too much just yet. Right. Yeah. But, <laughs> but um, I'm sure everybody's going to love that one. But after that, I think it's more of a, a love project. And after that, I'm trying to get I'm trying to make like a not go- just gospel inspired project, not gospel necessarily, right. but just like I grew up in the church. So I'm going to bring a lot of those elements out. And I would, you know, like to be on tour soon and streaming also by the streamer. <laughs> yes. Yes. So yeah. Got to plug that a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Well, I'm so excited. Thank you for chatting with me. Thank, Thank you, for, you for, I having... put you on this side and the wind is blowing your hair and it's uh, giving it, it's giving. It's yes. giving. I like Beyonce? it, but I see you over there. Okay. Messing with I'm, all, I'm, I'm, so, like, I'm so sorry. No, no. I'm just <laughs> like, like my oh, I shouldn't stuff. have put you on that side, <laughs> no. but it looks great. You look um, great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but thank you so much for meeting with me. Thank you so much for having me. Thank <laughs> you.